Hello everyone. My name is Langman Mungton Singh of Class 12 Science. And I am Tang Suan Lian of Class 12 Science. I am Lian Min Lun Guide of Class 12 Science. I am Joshua Kumolian Tunglut of Class 12 Science. I am Pumsan Thang Shinson of Class 12 Science. What you see before us is an integrated infrared based smart traffic system. We came up with this project to demonstrate the practical uses of IR in solving problems regarding traffic as well as other local problems. In this project of ours, we specifically tackle three problems. First, accidents occurring due to fox. Secondly, accidents at sharp turns or crossroads. And then thirdly, keeping track of our farm animals. Proceeding to the first problem of accidents occurring in foggy areas. It can be stated that the root cause of accidents in fox are due to low visibility. The recent accident in Noida is also an example of such accident. Currently, some vehicles are usually fitted with fog lights uh, to tackle the problem of fog. Yet, fog lights has a few limitations, such as being outlawed, high price, and less uh, percentage of vehicles being fitted with such accessory. So, we have come up with a cheaper, yet fully practical and functional system to prevent accidents in fog. Our system is based on infrared technology and serves as an object detecting device which gives warning. This prototype of our system comprises of a photodiode, IR emitter, LEDs, and a microcontroller, Arduino Uno. This, the photodiode receives infrared signals emitted by the IR emitter and serves as a trigger to our system. Whenever an object is detected, the IR receiver signals and then the LEDs light up between the photodiode and the IR emitter. The signal breaks and results in an open circuit. This change in the circuit is detected by the microcontroller and interprets the signal as well as relaying the signal to the LED and lighting it up. Subsequent triggers and LEDs result in a system which can be used to detect vehicles Passing on the road, lighting the nearby lights, serving as a warning system to traffic. In this prototype of ours, a trigger lights up three LEDs in front as well as in the back, so as to uh, so as to warn the vehicles in the front as well as in the back. Our system is entirely based as a warning system and lights up whenever it detects vehicles helping drivers to stay vigilant in the fog and informing them of the road ahead. Our system uses infrared as the trigger because infrared has a high wavelength and can easily penetrate the foggy atmosphere. In this prototype of ours, we even use red LEDs because red LEDs have the longest wavelength which can be easily seen in the foggy areas. The microcontroller serves as the brain of the system and lights up subsequent LEDs according to the position of the object. In the real world model, we intend to use stronger infrared as well as red lights with a high wavelength that can easily penetrate the fog while remaining not destructive to the drivers. We also intend to add solar plates and rechargeable batteries so as to make it self-sufficient and less requirement of maintenance. Since we are using microcontroller, this system can be easily expanded. For example, we intend to add LDR to detect light as well as a moisture sensor so as to detect low light as well as moisture respectively, which are indicators for fog and triggering the device. By adding such sensors in the device, the device will expand spend less energy and will get triggered and work only when needed. With better 
programming and using more sensors, we could even expand the system to detect speed of vehicles as well. We hope to expand our system with IoT as well, so as to detect and inform the traffic as well as traffic status to traffic control stations as well through mobile applications. Now, proceeding to our second problem, accidents in sharp turns and crossroads are due to no visibility of oncoming traffic. Due to high speed and recklessness of drivers, such accidents occur and lead to many fatalities. In cities, sharp turns and crossroads are fitted with traffic lights as well as mirrors. But these mirrors and traffic lights are not practical in towns and villages due to many factors, such as no strict vigilance in following of traffic rules, no availability of traffic police and systems. Even in cities, these devices have limitations, such as non-functioning of mirrors during the night and disobedience of traffic lights by some drivers. In a developing country like our own, these traffic lights cannot be expected to function just as smoothly as those of developed nations. We have tackled this second problem by using IR system. This IR system is similar to our first system in functioning and uses the same principle of detecting and triggering and warning as well. All the device as well as, as that of the first device, such as photodiodes, the IR emitters and LEDs and Arduino are used here. Yet, it is still very practical in use and will be very effective in preventing accidents in sharp turns and crossroads since our system is entirely based on warning system. Since it warns drivers of vehicles that are approaching, it possesses a high risk of collision if the warning is ignored. And this increases the vigilance of drivers on the road and slows down their speed. In a country such as our own, where rules are usually ignored, such a warning system that contains a high risk if ignored will have a high success rate in preventing accidents. Finally, to our last problem of keeping tracks of animals, we have the device this system, which is also based on infrared. Uh, this system has the same principle as that of our traffic system, but instead of detecting which it detects animals and counts the animals with the help of a microcontroller. This, this phototype consists of a uh, photodiode photo, <laughs> photo and IR emitter. Uh, to detect the animals, a microcontroller to count to count the animals to count the animals and LEDs to indicate that an animal has been detected detected in computer serve as a screen to display the number number of animals that has been counted here <coughs> the triggers are kept through a narrow gate to prevent animals from going back as well to allow only one animal to go through the gate. The triggers are kept at, kept at body level at, so, so as to detect the animals and when an animal passes through the gate, it is counted by the microcontroller and the result is displayed on the screen. Currently, RFID chips are used in developed nations to keep trick of animals, but in our nation, due to commercial strain, such devices are hard to maintain it well, as well as utilized for our farmers. So we have come with a cheaper alternative, which is still very functional. Uh, this counting system can be easily implemented and required to maintain as well. In this further, this system can be expanded through IoT technology and can be used to provide data to farmers through applications.
This animal counter can also be expanded to, automatic, to automatically close gate or even alert when the criteria of animals have been met or unmet. All the problems that we have specifically focus on are in urgent need of a solution. And we believe that these solutions that we have come up with are both practical and cheap due to use of inexpensive devices such as infrared, LED, and Arduino. In our previous prototype, the emitters were not working to our expectation due to some technical problems and bugs in the code. Now that we have improved our prototype, it's better and ready to be launched in the real world. We hope to work with technological companies such as Intel and IBM and also with governments to bring our ideas to life and, so, and solve the problems that we have tackled. Thank you.